there's reviews on the movie A Man Possessed. I'm the anger guy. I'm going to tell you like it is. Let me make this perfectly clear. I love Amazon Prime. Don't get me wrong, but there is always a but. I seen the film A Man Possessed, and the date beside the film was 2019. After buying, watching, and creating a review on the film A Man Possessed, and rechecking the info about the movie, I found A Man Possessed was released in 2016. Ah! After some time of researching, I found out the date, 2019, beside the film was the street date. What the pickles does the street date mean? Oh. Well, in business, a street date is the date a particular product is to be released for sale to the general public. Oh, someone told me once, business is business. It's not personal. Well, boom, boom. Okay. Director for the film, A Man Possessed, was Emil J. Figueroa. He is also a producer, writer, and cinematographer. He is best known for The Quiet Ones and The Briefcase. Emil also runs the independent film company Saint Center Entertainment with business partner Brandon E. Brooks. Emil also was a writer for this film. The stars in the film are Ricardo Segura as the man, Gina Martino as the man's wife, Tommy Dreamer as the detective, and Alex Rosa as the detective's wife. The film A Man Possesses about a young couple who are much in love and life is going their way with being blessed by a child in the near future. A horrible tragedy strikes this charmed couple and the husband promises justice will be served no matter the consequences. Every once in a while I run in a film like A Man Possessed. The director or a person the director knows has gone through a life-altering tragedy and to honor them, they produce a film so there will be an everlasting tri tribute to that loved one. So the director spends incredibly amount of time in the film demonstrating how deep emotions run through people and how certain circumstances will change persons for the rest of their lives. But like I say in the intro, I will tell you like it is. I think the director spent too much time on showing how deeply in love the couple were. The film quality was poor. The audio was bouncing off the walls when the actors were indoors. The script needed a lot of work, and I think some actors' egos were greater than their acting ability. Out of respect for the director, I will not rate this film, but in clear conscience, I cannot recommend people to watch this film, even if it's free. A final note, I truly believe everyone that was a part of this film gave their best. Thank you for watching. Uh, side note, I still love Amazon Prime. There's no, there's no problem there. This is twice as has happened to me. Since I am a number two, I will be like the old Avis Logan. I will try harder. Oh, brother. Business. It's all about the cheddar, isn't it? Business. Just got to be smarter out there, I guess. Hmm. Hey, take care.